is. When you watch a movie or a TV show or a video on the internet, something is happening in your brain. It's why statistically, you probably spend as much time every day watching content as a part-time employee devotes to their job. Daddy shouldn't waste his time. Movies aren't a waste of time because when you watch a great movie, your brain finally stops thinking about your life and your problems. You forget about that important thing you need to tell your boss. Hey, listen, I quit. You sometimes forget your name. You live in the moment, and that's a good thing. Because of this, some people feel more alive watching a movie than they do on their wedding day. Film is not only entertainment, but it is an independent and distinct art form. In this video, we will examine some of the key elements that make the moving image worthy of its own pedestal in the Hall of Art. But let's start with the one thing that makes movies, movies. And if you're not careful, you might miss it or take it for granted. Did you see it? Let me show you again. Did you see it? Let me explain something first. There are arguably eight distinct art forms. Painting, photography, sculpture, literature, architecture, music, theater, and cinema. And I contest that because of its collaborative nature, cinema is the highest of all art forms. I know that's a bold statement, but watch this video and you'll most likely agree with me. However, cinema as a new art form wasn't always worthy of its own pedestal. When cinema first began, it was a subcategory of theater. Everything was a wide shot, as if you had the best seat in the house. Cinema was a moving photograph. The camera would cut between scenes, but never within the same scene. But once filmmakers started experimenting with cutting, everything changed. This is the earliest known example of cutting, and although to our modern sensibilities this seems so obvious, at the time it wasn't at all. Continuity cutting in cinema allows audiences to effortlessly and instantaneously move around a scene to have the best perspective possible. To me as a filmmaker, this aspect of filmmaking is the main thing that makes a movie a movie. The tool of continuity cutting introduced what I pretentiously call the silent narrator in film. The silent narrator is given a voice through perspective and pacing. When filming a scene, the filmmaker has the choice of where to place the camera and what lens to use. These details can affect the audience's point of view. If the film is from one character's perspective, for instance, you want to shoot them on the wider lens. If the person they're talking to is not the main character, you don't want them to feature so much, then maybe you shoot them on a longer lens. So they feel like it's more from the perspective of your main character. When editing, the filmmaker has the choice of when and where to cut next. These tools silently communicate a message to the audience. Editing can also affect our perception of the actor's performance. Now we have a close-up, let me show what he sees. Let's assume he saw a woman holding a baby in her arms. Now we cut back to his reaction to what he sees, and he smiles. Now what is he as a character? He's a kindly man. He's sympathetic. Now, let's take the middle piece of film away, the woman with the child, but leave his two pieces of film as they were. Now we'll put in uh, a piece of film of a girl in a bikini. He looks, girl in a bikini, he smiles. What is he now? The dirty old man. And thanks to the long career and cinematic storytelling abilities of that dirty old man, cinema is now able to affect audiences as never before. But the simple cut isn't the only aspect unique to filmmaking. There's more. There's a lot more. With cross-cutting, the story cuts between two or more locations. This technique gives the filmmaker a unique cinematic opportunity to make silent observations about human nature and guide the audience along. Or it can be used to trick the audience. And I like this gag where we deliberately made people think that these hobbits were asleep. 
and it's a pretty it's a cheap and cheesy one but it's always good value doing this type of stuff it's what cinema can do so well you can't really do it in a book but in movies you can where you can juxtapose places and, and time let's take a moment and appreciate this <sighs> that right there that cut was art these two concepts of continuity cutting and cross-cutting are still the basis of cinema's artistic contribution today. But another important tool in filmmaking is camera movement. After the cut gave the filmmakers a voice, camera movement gave the filmmakers a megaphone. 18 or 19, I'm not really sure. Skillful camera movement like this, to me, is akin to a line of Shakespeare. Movement like this is referred to as in-camera editing. But camera motion can be entertaining as well. Now audiences can fly through a scene carried by the filmmaker and be taken for a ride. This element, distinct to the art of film, gives a kinetic energy to cinema. Movies are kinetic. It's about movement. Forget the actors, forget the story. It's all about movement. It's a chase. The chases were the beginning form of cinema. Integral to this kinetic energy and sense of speed is the addition of music and sound design in film. Film is the perfect amalgamation of all art forms because it brings together every kind of artist. The top literary talent in the world writes screenplays. The greatest actors in the world lend their performances. Under the direction of the filmmaker, the visionary concept artist gives inspiration for designers and craftspeople to create incredible worlds for us to visit. Costume designers dress the actors and give life to their performances, and the director of photography shapes the film like a painter. Because of this collaboration, film helps us see things we ordinarily couldn't see. It expands our vision and teaches the audience without them knowing they're being taught. Another unique aspect of cinema are close-up camera angles. With close-ups, we can see the nuance of an actor's performance, something we could never experience seeing them act on stage. In film, we can experience a new perspective on life, whether high or low. And then there's violence in film. It is violence, it's also action. I think it's also kind of what movies do in a way that's particular to them as opposed to theater or literature is the filming of kinetic violence that can usually give a cathartic release for an audience. Unless you lived in Rome or another barbaric time in history, witnessing close-up graphic violence for entertainment was unique to film before high-quality video games were introduced. But in my opinion, film still gives us a superior insight into the characters as they witness or experience death. It's for these many reasons why I think film is the greatest and most transformative art form we as a species have yet discovered. And it is specifically because of the humble camera cut. I believe new technologies like virtual reality or gaming will never replace the movie experience, its importance in culture, and its ability to impact society. Cinema as an art form is here to stay. So, if you're a creative person, this is your invitation to get involved with movie making. Start making stuff, and we can continue to explore and advance the possibilities of this relatively new art form. If you feel like we left out any elements that make the art of filmmaking unique, please leave a comment. And as always, don't subscribe to our channel, Epic Light Media.